entrepreneur, it's in their DNA. It's ingrained okay. in their DNA. Yeah. And, and it's a secret formula. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all about trust. Okay. The Somali community value trust more than anything else. It's so true. The other day we were saying, yeah. cars you should not hit in the, in this Nairobi. Yeah. You know, and we're saying if you hit a Somali's car yeah. or a Maasai car, they, they can forgive you if you tell them you're sorry. Exactly. A Somali will be like, Sawa. Kama umbe kubali umefaya uh, makosa, uh, we wenda zako. Don't be proud, yes. Yes, it's true. So it's it's about uh, trust, it's about coming together, it's mm-hmm. about being social. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, Isli uh, is a neighborhood that used to be just like in other neighborhood in the early 90s, late uh, 80s, mm-hmm. but uh, because of the Somali unity, around five, six people come together, pull mm-hmm. resources together, yes, and uh, trust each other to start a business. So but that's why you see there's a lot of malls, there's yeah. a lot of thriving businesses. But Somalis were not really enterprising some 15 years ago. No, they they were always enterprising, mm-hmm. always. Even in the in the late 1800s, you know, there was a, a school in Nakuru that had Somali boarding school. Mm-hmm. So the, the 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 entrepreneurial skills of Somalis are ingrained. Okay. So people come together, and then a handshake is much more important than a signature on a piece of paper. Oh, really? So that, you know, you have my word. You have my word. In good faith, let's do this. Okay. So it's 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 about trust. Wow, that's yeah. true. But to be honest, I'd rather yeah. do Beshara with them Somali any day. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I know that I can be ni ukweli, ni ukweli. Ukweli, yes. Let's talk about your traditional attire. There's the buibui that is really heavily influenced by, by, by culture. But Somalis have their own traditional attire. Heavily influenced by religion. By religion, sorry. Yes, yeah. uh, which is true. Um Mostly are Muslim communities, like I said, almost 99% are of the Muslim com- uh, Muslim religion. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's also other traditional uh, attires like the guntino. What's the guntino? Guntino is is a dress that's not uh, as covering as the boy boy. Yes. It's uh, it shows some parts of the hand. Okay, this is for the women. For the women. Okay. And for the men is about kikoi. Uh, I'm sure you have seen the kikoi. Yes. And there's something called shawl, which is uh, like a scarf. Uh huh. And then there's the kofia. Uh, ah. So, uh, those are the uh, traditional uh, uh, Somali attires. Mm-hmm. But because of the religion uh, which they uh, religiously follow, yeah. uh, the religion of the great religion you have to of Islam, cover up. and now they wear hijab to cover their modesty, which mm-hmm. is very important yes. and very respectful as well. It's true. Yeah. Let's talk about the dowry process. Yeah. You know, this is the part that we, we get excited about. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm still Somali, and we are like, Sasa cha tuende tuka, tuende kwao. Yeah. First of all, are Somalis really open to marrying people outside uh, their culture? Yeah, you know, p- there's a lot of um, uh, complications around that. Okay. Area. And it's just a simple process. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just marry who you love mm-hmm. and uh, mostly um, insist on uh, being a, a Muslim, of Muslim religion. Okay. Uh, because of the, like I said, of the importance of uh, the Islamic religion within mm-hmm. the Somali community. Mm-hmm. So once uh, a person is of uh, the Islamic religion, mm-hmm. uh, they're welcome with open hands. So there's, there's not a lot of complications. People have this myth in their heads. Yes. That where is the Caribbean? I'm still in Somalia. Hey, but I was Somali when you were when you were in Ulizana. We were talking about clan Ghani. We were saying clan Yaku in Ulizo. We were talking about Yeah, no, no, it's 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 very important. It's most more about uh, prestige okay. than anything else. But okay. there's nothing complicated about it. Um, in terms of the um, dowry, it's uh, uh, cultu- culturally is about uh, maybe one or two camels. So what's the first thing? Like we've, yeah. we've seen this Somali girl um, and then we're like, what do we do? Do we go home? Do we t- send our, our um, fathers, our no, parents no, the, first the, or what happens? Uh, the, the onus is on the um, the the man's uh, family okay. to go and approach the the girl's family. That's okay. that's the how respect out of respect. Ah. Familia ya kijana wanaenda kumtafuta mstari. Na katika hii kuomba. Kwa hii familia uh, baba ya kijana atakuwa wazazi wake watakuwa ama ni yeah, wajomba zake. Wote watakuwa. Yes and they are their guardians if the oh, okay. are dead. So the 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 boys family approaches the girls family. Okay. Wanaongea wanazungumza na wanaomba kwa uh, with a lot of uh, respect and unenekevu. Uh, okay, okay, because so, anything can go wrong when it's a kata. It's a kata. No, but normally uh, the, 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 the boy and the girl have this agreement yes. beforehand uh-huh. in secret. Okay, okay. Uh, but they'll just uh, 
act like they don't know, so uh-huh, that, uh-huh. Uh, out of culture. Yes. And then they come together, the families come together. And then the idea is to have a bigger family. It's the coming together of two families okay. to become one big family. Do you carry anything when you're going to meet the the bride's side? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a small token. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could be in cash. It could be in uh, as a symbol. Like, for example, we say four bulls. Uh, Four bulls and this is not even dowry. It's not even dowry. This is just you just going to, to see go this. And ask. Hey, Somali girls. Yeah. <laughs> They're very expensive. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's okay, why so the other day um, uh, at the Ferry Cultural Festival, mm-hmm, obviously, mm-hmm. Uh, Honorable um, Adam Duale, who's the majority leader, was saying, "Don't complicate these things," because he asked, he saw yeah. a, a family that was asked one million as a dowry, so he was asking the community to lower. Uh, the expectations and to wow. make easy for the youth to uh, to marry because there's a lot yes. of hustlers. It's true, hustlers doing it. So, so, so. <laughs> why why is the dowry pesanying uh, evil no, no, it's, it's, in the Somali culture? It's also um, a, a, a symbol, as for example. Mm-hmm. you have to pay all oh, the one uh, billion and do you have any so bulls? Well, <laughs> kuganga, so you don't, you know, hapa. <laughs> <laughs> so true. When we come back, we will learn more about the do's and don'ts. You know, yes. We might be accompanying our Somali friends. Tukifika uko tunafanya vitu in our picha. We do not want to do that. We want our girl. And you'll be telling us more about that. Right now, though, we will be playing a Somali music. And this is Kutub... You told me how to pronounce it. It's... Osub. Danto Osub. Danto Osub. Aha. What is Danto Osub? New... New Danto. New Danto. Danto is a cultural Somali music. Yeah. Ah, if I'm not wrong, Danto was a type of music that was so, was sung during wars. Uh, Am I wrong? Yeah, and also in celebrations, in, in, in happy times. As well. Okay, yeah. so this particular Danto is, is sung for? For happy, for weddings and uh, cultural events. And all. Okay, Danto Usub people, hear some Somali music. <laughs> 